We thought during uh, many years that paragliding was invented in France in 78, but it to be wrong when we discovered that an incredible man in New York invented almost everything as early as 65. David Barish not only designed the glider with glide ratio of 4, but he made this glider, tried it on hill near Woodstock, that was the first foot launching, and he even the next year in 66, he made a tour of the ski resort in USA to promote a new sport, slope soaring. David Berish made a lot of prototypes. One of them was a remote controlled model with a chainsaw engine. It was the invention of paramotor. The idea was to allow the pilot of Air Force, when shot down, to reach the ocean to be rescued by the Navy. Another founder of paragliding is the German engineer Dieter Strassila. He flew with Ramer parachutes on the dunes in California in the 60s, then went back in Europe with his brother and the Swiss guy Andrea Kuhn. They went to the ski resort to fly with skis, and it was the invention of speed riding. With all these flights around the world, in the US, in Germany, in Switzerland, it was not enough. The sport wasn't taking off. Then in 78, in Haute-Savoie, in France, three parachutists, two French and one Swiss, started to foot launch. This is the moment, 78, and the place where the sport of paragliding really got going. These three parachutists, André Beaune, Gérard Bosson and Jean-Claude Béton, not only made the first flights from Murcie, but they've been teaching their parachutist friends and then a lot of other people. It started with 10, 20 people, then in the following years it was hundreds of new pilots, then thousands. A new sport was born. Starting in 86, it becomes crazy with thousands of pilots everywhere in the world flying higher, longer and some of them further. The world of hang gliding is discovering and accepting paragliding. Schools are created, manufacturers are forming like mushrooms after rain. They produce new gliders every year the glide ratio is improving of one point. While paragliding was spreading over the planet, a Swiss hang glider pilot, Didier Favre, invented vol bivouac. Vol bivouac, the goal is to fly the longest distance as possible during several days or several weeks without any mechanical means. To do that, you need to land in altitude in the evening to be able to take off the next morning. If you cannot land in altitude, you have to carry all your equipment from the landing to the takeoff. The biggest achievement of Didier Favre was the big crossing of the Alps. It opened the way to many pilots flying vol bivouac now in the Alps in Morocco, in the Andes, and also, of course, in the Himalayas.